What is up guys and welcome back. Right, this time we are on Hit the Road. And this is going to be 100% gems as well because uh, the one gem location requires you to go there because there are boxes. So it's kind of a necessity. This one, again, took me about, I don't know, maybe 10 attempts. And uh, the tip that I always give is if you do die, there's no need to actually restart the level straight away. Just play the level again, get an idea for what's coming up ahead. And it's very useful to do that because... Uh, there's so many levels, so many boxes, and uh, it's just good to get a feel for what you're in for. This one took me a while to find, and you get to the end and you realize there's five or six boxes missing, and you know there's a kind of an area you've missed, and that was the area I kept missing. Okay, this one over here, uh, that actually gave me a bit of trouble. <laughs> for some reason, I died on the electricity so many times. But uh, in the end, just jump on the box or spin it, and you're good. Now, the, uh, the swinging balls coming up here, there's one tricky part. But uh, there's a, I'm going to say easy solution. There's nothing too easy about this game at all. But uh, I will get to that in a second. It wasn't those ones. Careful of the fires. So tricky because they seem like boxes and then they're death. Okay, this one over here. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward as well. It's when uh, you have to jump from platform to platform on either side. Can get quite confusing. But we're going to do the bonus level first. Let's crack on. Now, for this one, do not touch the exclamation right now because you got to crash these guys first. There we go. Then jump over, slide through. Now, you can do this another way, but I found in the end taking these two boxes out first, then slide double jump up to the top. Worked best for me. Then we've got to crack him, and then whatever you do, don't end the level before actually letting the TNT uh, crate explode because that will not count if you land on that thing. You gotta wait for it to explode, then land. Good as gold. Okay, these guys again, I like to tack from the right after he swings. The best way to do it. Lots of time to do it. Now these swinging ones coming up here, wait until the first ball is on the left hand side, then jump. Like so. Otherwise, you will probably jump into it on the other side. It's just easier to do it that way. Okay, about halfway, almost. These are uh, transformer jumps, where the uh, time-dimensional jumps you have to do as you are actually jumping. They can be quite difficult. But, um, again, with practice, if you die on this area, then just continue from the checkpoint, practice what you have to do, and then uh, restart the level when you're comfortable with doing it. That worked very well for me. Okay, so we're coming up to the secret area, I think. Let's have a look. So it exploded. <laughs> it wasn't exploded. I was waiting for it to pop, but it did not. There we go. Okay, no rush. No time required for this. So be ready for the rope. And there is the mask. So this was very, very difficult, actually. In the end, you just got to get the double jump right. Not like that. Swap it out and then swap it again so you land back on this platform. Now that box will blow up and the nitros blow up so you're okay. Now there's a TNT box right there hidden amongst the red. And you've got to get that one first and then I, I like to come back down just so I can focus on one thing at a time. So that's a good t chance right there. Oh no, don't come back down on this one actually. I was lucky enough. I should have ducked here but <laughs> I didn't. So here's the secret area. Now, this is the one you have to get to. That particular box over there you can see will explode with the nitros, but there's two boxes up top that you have to get to. So definitely including this one. I thought maybe I could double jump to that, but uh, you cannot. So slide double jump from this side, and you're good. Now you can't slide right at the back. You've got to come a bit forward. Slide double jump, simple enough, and there are the two boxes right there. And the gem for your troubles. Okay, final stretch, so to speak. Again, pretty straightforward platforming. Now, as you land on the rope, hit the dimension swap again. And then as you jump, hit it again, and then again. Straightforward. Do not jump on that, but you need to uh, ignite the TNT, if you will, because there's no nitros close enough. Now, these fires actually died here more times than I care to admit. You just forget about them. 
There's nothing on this side, but uh, there's a couple more coming up. So like there, very well hidden fire, almost got totaled there. Totaled or toasted, either way. There's another one here. Sneaky. Careful of the firebox. I like to go straight for the enemy, but uh, it's a well-placed firebox there. Okay, on this one, remember, if you miss any boxes, he will get them, except for one box that is on the top platform. I'm not actually sure about the other high ones, to be honest, because I've never missed them. But if you hit those ramps straight on, then you, you're good as gold. But there is one higher platform you have to get to, and there's a box smack bang in the middle of that. And uh, he is required. There's also the uh, green gem here with the remote control car. I did a video on yesterday. What was the day before? Sure. The day is all just mulled into one. Okay, so keeping your pace, follow the apples. The apples are the path. Now, I do miss a fair amount of apples uh, with regards to missing boxes like that one. I jumped perfectly to miss it. But you only need 80% of the apples in the end to get the third gem for the apple collection. So that's all good. Okay, so the green gem. Smack the trash can on the left. Whoops out the remote control. And then just keep smacking it till the nitro explodes. And there shall be a green gem within. There it is. Okay, a little bit faster now. There's the one ramp. And there's the box there. But I think it looks like you might hit that if you miss it. Doesn't actually tell you what percentage of the apples you got in the end. See this one over here? You have to get that platform. If not, it's a restarting of the level. Brutal, brutal. Thoroughly enjoying the game. Loving the mechanics, like I was saying in my first video. And uh, these are so challenging. I think I've got about three or four more done, then I have to do some more recording. So, uh, getting there out of 38. <laughs> See that there, that pile of boxes, I thought, oh, maybe it's not going to be enough. But in the end, it says 80%, so I have no idea how many I actually got apple wise. 168 of 168, there we have it. So remember guys, if you're having trouble with any trophies, I do share play as part of my full-time job. And you can email me from the description and I can help you get those tricky trophies and the tricky platinums. So if you enjoy the content guys, pretty please smash that like button. And if you really are, then subscribe. So thanks for watching and I want to catch you on the next one.